Hey guys, it's Luca from Learning MTG, and today I want to talk about um, how to meditate. Um, recently, I had someone contact me um, to learn meditation, and, and I thought, you know, why not just have like a, a video that kind of goes over over it, you know, for people to get to get started. Um, you know, right off the bat, am I some kind of like guru or <laughs> you know, like special? Uh, spiritual teacher, do I have any accolades or certifications? No, I don't, but I think if you stick through the rest of the video, you'll kind of find out why I don't think that's important at all. Um, what do I recommend, like, right off the bat? I think if you've got, I think this costs like four or five hundred dollars. If you've got four or five hundred bucks to spend, I totally recommend um, to go learn transcendental meditation you'll find like a local teacher and then it's like one it's like one day to get initiated into the process and then there's maybe like two or so follow-up sessions afterwards um i just think this is amazing i totally recommend it to anyone i know some people don't have four or five hundred dollars to spend on something like this um, and then my next option would be if you don't have four or five hundred dollars to spend this book bliss more by light Watkins, it basically teaches the same um, the same thing as transcendental meditation um, he studied with Maharishi who uh, created transcendental meditation so same same process but you're learning from a book instead of from a person um, instead of from someone in person, which I think is a lot worse. Um, but you know, this book you can get used for probably like 10 bucks. So, or you can get the Kindle version for, for 11 bucks. So if you, you know, if you don't have four or $500 to spend, you can do this option for maybe like 10, 20 bucks. Um, and then if you don't want to spend 10, 20 bucks, you can watch this video and I'll explain the same thing that's in the book in this YouTube video. Okay, so I guess the first thing I want to say is like meditation is simple. Okay, I think you know, we live we live in a this is going to get maybe a little bit dark, but I think we live in a world where we've got uh amazing amazing information available to us right like if you think of the amount of information that's available to someone today on any topic it's maybe a hundred a thousand times what it was even 20 years ago because of the internet um and so we live in this world where we've got amazing information and yet people have terrible results i'm speaking of like the united states i think we probably have like all-time record levels of depression and anxiety despite having all-time record levels of information on how to be happy and how to be joyful so what's going on there i think i think it's very clear that you know people are not they're not able to process information well they're not either not able to find the good source of information or the good source of information are kind of drowned out by shitty sources of information which i think is what's going on same thing with health we've got a wealth of information about how to take care of your body and yet people are overweight plenty of people are overweight and unhealthy um, and the same goes for meditation. I think, I think there's like a bunch of, um, unhelpful ideas about meditation that are going around that are basically, they're trying to make it way complicated. Um, meditation is at its core, like the most natural thing you can do it's like breathing it's like eating it's like sleeping it's something that we're just supposed to do naturally um so you know anyone who's trying to make it super complicated you've got to sit in this position you've got to put your hands in this way you've got to say the mantra this way you've got to do 10 different steps you know <laughs> I, you know i love sad guru um i've had amazing experiences with uh, inner engineering but i really hate the meditation that they teach um, I didn't get any results out of that meditation, and I don't think most people get results out of that meditation. And I think it's because it's so overly like complicated. But I think he needs to do that. He needs to market this complicated meditation because that's what people are expecting in our culture. 
people think that meditation is a super complicated thing and you've got to do a b c d e f g all these different things and if you get it all right then you're meditating and if you don't then you're not meditating so i think one of the key ideas is like meditation is not a complicated thing it's as simple as breathing it's as simple as sleeping it's something that we all kind of naturally intuitively know how to do um and that is why, you know, I think you can listen to this video and you can get a lot of good information out of it, despite me not having any certifications or accolades in meditation. So that's step one, understanding meditation is simple. So really what, what meditation is, in my opinion, is you're kind of taking a break from thinking. Um, we're so used to being in the mind, in the mind, in the mind. Um, we basically... We've got, we have this dialogue in our heads, you know, maybe my dialogue is like, oh, I need to go to Wegmans and I need to um, buy this and this and this, and then I'll be back by this time, and then I've got an appointment for this, or I may have an internal dialogue that's like, oh, it's, it's nice outside, maybe I should go for a walk, but what if it starts raining, and so we get all these, all these dialogues, right? They're usually about past events, future events, um, or just trying to make sense of things or trying to solve a certain problem in our lives. And we've just become so accustomed to, ha to having this dialogue that we never shut it off. We never have no dialogue. Now, I think everyone has experiences in their lives where the dialogue shuts off. Um, it could be like a very dangerous moment, right? Like maybe you're driving and uh, a deer jumps in front of your car. All of a sudden, you're very alert. And all of a sudden, your thoughts are off, or at least you're not really focused on your thoughts. Or it could be you're playing a sport, right? I think this happened to me a lot when I was playing soccer. I would be so into what I was doing in the game that the thoughts were gone. I was completely in the moment, completely in the game, completely focused. So... Um, it is very natural for us as humans to not be thinking, or at least to not be lost in the thoughts. Um, and that's kind of what meditation is, is you're getting away from the thoughts, at least losing focus on the thoughts. So one of the things that I think is like the most illustrative is, um, that, I, that I tell people about a lot is, you know, imagine you're watching TV Right, and we all we all know when we're watching a movie or a TV show, sometimes we get so engrossed in the movie that we forget we're actually sitting in a room watching a TV set. Basically, all the stuff that's going on outside of the TV set doesn't exist. We're completely lost in the film. Right, so that's pretty much what happens with your thoughts. Your thought, you're so focused on your thoughts that you forget that you're actually. Um, the one that's viewing the thoughts. You're not the thoughts themselves. For example, maybe you are driving and you're like, oh man, I'm really mad at this person. They did this and this and this. Why did they do that? They should have been like this. And you're so, and you get deeper and deeper into that rabbit hole of that thought. And maybe you don't see there's a red light and you drive through it or, you, you know, you almost hit something or basically you've lost touch with the world around you because you've gone so deep into that rabbit hole of your thoughts. So similarly, you know, we've all experienced this when watching a movie. Sometimes we're so engrossed in the movie, we forget about the fact that, you know, we're just watching a movie. There's actually a room in which that TV set exists and there's more information. There's not just that TV screen, there's actually more stuff going on. So it's kind of like you're pulling your focus away from just that one thing. So that's kind of what meditation is. You're pulling your focus away from just the thought. Instead of being completely lost in the thought, you're now kind of viewing the thought from uh, like a step back, kind of like zoomed out a little bit. Okay, so that's the basic concept of it. It's not, and I guess the tricky thing about meditation um, which is the tricky thing about all things spiritual, really, is you can't talk about it.
right? It's like the first line in the Tao Te Ching. Um, the Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao, which is basically saying the real, the real thing <laughs> that we're trying to get at is not something that can be talked about. It's not something that can be expressed in words. And so meditation, similarly, it's kind of like a knack. It's kind of like something you get you get good at, you get a knack for, but you can't explain it in words. You can't tell someone, okay, this is how you meditate because at its core, meditation is doing nothing, right? Um, even if you were like, okay, I need to not think any thoughts, I need to not think any thoughts, you, you thinking that I don't need to think any thoughts is a thought, right? So you can't, like, you can't use thoughts to <laughs> get away from thoughts, I guess, is one way of saying it. So this isn't something you can really talk about. It's not something you can um, think about logically. And so you'll have to approach it from a different way, basically. Um, so, so let's do like one exercise. Okay, so this is going to kind of give you a sense for what direction we were trying to head in. Okay, so with this exercise, I want you to do five seconds... Breathe in, and then five seconds, I want you to hold your breath, and then five seconds, breathe out. So you can just count to yourself, like one, two, three, four, five, okay, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah, blah. so you just do that, and let's do this like three times, okay, so we'll do it. So if you've done this exercise, you'll probably notice a few things. You'll probably notice yourself feeling better. You'll have like certain good sensations in your body. You'll feel yourself getting more relaxed. Um, you'll find yourself having less thoughts, or at least the rate at which the thoughts are coming is slower. So again, since this isn't something we can explain like logically, I'm just going to tell you that this is the direction you're trying to head in, right? So when you feel the, these certain sensations of being more relaxed, being more comfortable, um, this is the direction that we're headed in when we meditate. Um, one of the things that's going on here, there's a couple things. One is when you breathe more deeply and more slowly, your body is relaxing because it's not, it's moving away from fight or flight and it's moving into more like, you're basically telling your body that you're safe. The other thing that's going on is when you're counting, that's more focus is being put into the counting, more focus is being put into the breathing, and you basically have kind of like a fixed amount of focus. So that's less focus towards, I'm worried about this, this happened before, I'm trying to solve this problem. So you're basically taking energy away from the chattering mind and you're moving it into your breathing. So that's one of the tricks in meditation and this is how transcendental meditation works is you're saying a mantra over and over you're focused on the mantra and so by focusing on the mantra you can't be focused as much on your thoughts so now i'll just explain what the meditation is this is the meditation that's explained in bliss more it's very similar to what you would learn in transcendental meditation and you're basically just going to say a mantra um ah uh, hum Ah, uh, hum, ah, uh, hum. Okay, but you're going to say it quietly to yourself over and over. <laughs> That's it. You just say it to yourself over and over quietly and sit as comfortably as possible. As possible. Okay, and um, wear comfortable clothing. You want it. If you sit straight, if you sit in an uncomfortable place, if you use uncomfortable clothes, that's just more of your attention is going to your discomfort. So you want to be as comfortable as possible. And you're just going to say this mantra over and over. 
um, it's good to have some kind of like app on your phone that's a like a meditation timer that'll very lightly take you out of the meditation. But you could have any type of timer, or you could just do it until you're bored or whatever. But I would do this for um, two minutes if this is like your first time, and it's gonna be probably pretty hard for you to sit still for two minutes if you've never done that before. Um, and I think that's like a good starting point. So sit as comfortably as you can in some area and just say ah hum ah hum and the beauty of this meditation when i uh was initiated in transcendental meditation i was like well does it matter how fast you say it no he's like no does it matter how you say it no does it matter what inflection no and basically every question you ask he <laughs> the, the person training you is going to respond that it just doesn't matter you just have to do it um and again that kind of gets back to the whole there's no there's no uh, a way. There's no logical way to explain how to how to do this stuff. You just do it, and you kind of can't do it wrong. You're gonna have to kind of explore on your own. I mean, one of the ways I think of it, maybe it's kind of weird, is like, um, if you're like painting a painting, is there like a right or way, wrong way to do the painting? Not really. It's kind of like an artistic thing. It's like an explorative thing. Or like if you're exploring in a forest, is there a right or wrong way to take a walk through a forest? Not really, right? So, same here. Uh, you just kind of can't do it wrong. Um, and that's all there is to it, really. And it's just, it's meditation is wonderful. In my opinion, um, it's the most important thing you can do. <laughs> like, everything else you do to try to improve whatever area of your life, in my opinion, will pale in comparison to what you'll get out of meditating, even just two minutes a day. <laughs> so... I uh, hope you guys end up trying this, and I hope it works great for you. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.